What is up guys, this is Nick, we are back, and in today's video we are going to be talking about the second half 2019 roadmap for Black Desert Online for the Xbox One. Sorry I don't have any gameplay in the background, we just have this picture, uh, got my new gaming PC, it's all set up, it's just not quite ready to record yet. Uh, I was out of town when all of this news dropped Friday and Saturday, apologize for not getting a video out then for it. Uh, but I was at a, I was at two different conventions, and so wasn't home to actually make the videos. Uh, and then uh, this morning, I took a friend to the airport, so didn't have time to get these this video out any earlier than when it's going out now. But we have all this great content. Check back tomorrow. I will be back with Sorceress gameplay and stuff like that because we have to get her ready for the new content that is set to release. So let's get into this. Um, starting with the top left picture, if you want to get to this, not that there's really a reason, clicking on any of these tabs does not do anything, it just takes you to the picture. So, I'm here to kind of talk you guys through it in a quick manner. So, starting off, we have these six new classes that are coming out. I am super excited about a few of these. So, first we have Valkyrie. That's probably the one that I'm looking second most forward to. Uh, but I really like Valkyries, and so I'm looking forward to playing that. We have Tamer. We have Mystic, which is one of the most requested characters that I see for the console. We have Maywa, uh, which is probably the one that I'm looking the most forward to playing. Uh, we have Kunoichi, which is someone that I've seen a lot of people asking for. And we have Archer. Archer will be the next character released, and he will drop on August 14th. And when he drops, he'll drop with the box just below him. He'll drop with Camisylvia region, which is another one that people have been asking for. It's probably the most asked for region um, since the game launched. And so over, over Dragon, it's been asked for the most. People really want Camisylvia. So we are going to be getting that on August 14th. Don't quote me on this. I don't actually know, but it sounds like it's level 60 plus content. So I need to definitely get my Sorceress up to level 61 probably. Uh, which means I got a lot of grinding on the Sork uh, coming up in the next few days. Should be able to handle it, but uh, hopefully hopefully it doesn't present me any issues that I, can, that I can't handle. But we do have the new region, Akama Sylvia, coming, which is a gigantic update. Um, the reason they decided to, they, they did clarify why they chose Archer as the next character. Uh, it's because the Archer hails from Akama Sylvia, and so they thought, it made sense to combine them, which I agree with them. It, it, it makes logical sense to to release them at the same time. Uh, next, we have Tier 8 Horses. And so with this, this will introduce um, a lot more for people who want to breed horses. It'll bring a lot more of a market, I guess. It'll bring a lot more of a uh, profitability for those who want to breed and sell horses. Uh, so that's a cool thing that they that, that's coming to the game um, is Tier 8 horses. Uh, you guys know I don't use a horse all that much, so it doesn't mean a whole lot to me, but it is a cool feature coming to the game. Next, we have uh, Rabam, and Rabam's Enlightenment, which are more skills to finish out a lot of the classes. I know my Sorceress relies on a lot of Rabam Enlightenment skills, and so I'm looking forward to whenever that releases because there should be a lot of new skills for me to test out on my Sorceress, as well as plenty of other characters. Next is the new region of Dragon. That, I would assume, would drop in November. That would probably give a fair amount of time to... Um, fair amount of time for everybody to catch up to Camasylvia and then start the new region. That would be my assumption. I'm not fully sure. That's just my assumption. I have no idea, but I would guess... I would guess mid to early November is would be when we get Dragon. Next is the villa and campsites. Uh, I don't know too much about these. These weren't re these were released a couple of years ago on PC, uh, I believe. Yeah, they were released a couple of years on PC, and they apply buffs, I believe, to your character. I'm not entirely sure about these, but I know they do apply. You can get buffs and whatnot uh, from the villas and campsites. Uh, next is new world bosses. I would expect a one to two to be introduced with Camisylvia, and then maybe one every month up until Dragon, where we'll probably get a bunch more then. Um, they got to spread the content out, so I would assume they'll try to fill in some of the empty times with the um, 
with world losses when they don't have new regions. Next is the Dark Rift Adventures log. This is great for those who love PvP. Uh, it's going to be probably introduced... I would guess it would be introduced in between Camasylvia and Dragon. Uh, that would kind of be... That's kind of the three massive updates of content is Camasylvia, Dragon, and the Dark Rift. I would guess they would go... Um, probably August for Camasylvia, well, August is Camasylvia, then probably late September for the Dark Rift, and then mid-November for Dragon. And then finally, we're going to get the fairy system, which the fairies are pretty cool. They're a companion. Uh, they're not a pet. They're an actual companion that, uh, that you have that comes along with you, and you complete a very short check, uh, very short quest chain and then you use an item called sealed fairies wings and you will be able to uh, get your fairy uh, it's a repeatable quest and the fairies have four grades faint glimmering brilliant and radiant and you'll get a random fairy obviously every time you use a sealed fairy wing uh, they also have five voice types of uh, aloof joyful meticulous prim and serene i like the I like the words they chose for that. They could choose some really, like, basic words, but they chose meticulous, aloof, prim, and serene. I, I like those. The personality types only change the voice and the lines that the, the fairies say. It will not affect any of their skills, but still uh, a little bit of customization for your fairy. Uh, when you obtain a new fairy, a new icon will appear next to the pet uh, and the maid icons in your fairy menu. Uh, you can summon, level up, and let go of fairies. Uh, in order to level up a fairy, you can feed her with all types of gear, black spirit claws, which I'm excited about that because I have like three black spirit claws that I just have kind of chilling, so I'll be able to level up my fairy quick. Uh, and sweet honey wine. You can only have one fairy at a time, but it is a really cool thing that they're, that's coming to the game for the Xbox. I'm looking very forward to it. I think it fits perfectly in the game like Black Desert is having like a fairy companion. Uh... Um, to get a new fairy, you have to let go of the current one you have. The fairy can also be reincarnated, uh, and the skills will be refreshed of that fairy, and the tier fairy's tier will be increased via sprouting. So that should be interesting. I'm very looking forward to that. Uh, but like always, I will have videos going over all of the classes, hopefully getting them all to 56 so that we can do awakening skills. So up next, we're going to have to put a hold on the shy so I can get my sorceress to an appropriate level to do comma Sylvia. Pretty much going to just grind sorceress as much as I can. So expect plenty of videos of just sorceress grinding and different sorceress videos. Um, and then we'll hop into Archer as soon as he drops. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop it a big old like if you did subscribe if you haven't. Um, let me know of anything that I might have gotten wrong with the fairy system. I did a little bit of research on the fairy system um, and then not didn't really look up much on the villa and the campsite. I just know that they can give buffs and stuff like that. And then I know Rabon's Enlightenment uh, has is just really nice skills that are missing from the game right now. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll stop blabbling on and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.